Hey folks, Tim Demella. Uh, today I'd like to talk about ADHD, uh, attention deficit hyperactive disorder, or ADD, attention deficit disorder. Um, ADHD is actually an executive functioning disorder. Uh, not really an attention disorder. It's a symptom. That's a symptom that was thought a long time ago um, that it was an attention disorder. A long time ago, they thought that, but it actually is. A, it's an executive functioning disorder. And what do I mean by that? Your executive functions are up here in what's called your prefrontal cortex. Okay, your prefrontal cortex. Um, and the ADHD person has such a hard time getting up to here. Okay, because you have the hind brain and you have the midbrain and then you have the forebrain. And what does your prefrontal cortex do? prefrontal cortex regulates your hind brain and your midbrain and it has three parts okay and so the prefrontal cortex I'm going to summarize all of this I'm not going to go into too much detail here but the prefrontal cortex is where unconditional love lies. Unconditional love. Okay. Now most, the vast majority of people stay back in here. All right. It has been shown that most people use only 10% of their brain. Well, back here in your hind brain is 10% capacity. It's actually 10% of your brain back in here in the hind brain. Okay. And so when you can't get up in into here, okay, then the uh then you're stuck in what's called the world. Your prefrontal cortex is relatively new uh physically. It's the last that uh I don't know how many thousands and thousands of years ago it developed. Uh, Neanderthal, I think from that point on, or at, right after that, this started forming. And you started seeing the brain go from more of a concave to more of an outer, and this formed. Okay, so... What does that mean? Well, ADHD folks, they have a very difficult time. There's a connection between the executive function and before that, which is, we'll say the world. Okay. And, um, it's, and so out of no fault of theirs, no fault whatsoever, they cannot seem to get up into here. And what is in the here as you go through here? Okay. Well, if this is the world, then this is life. Then this is life. Okay. This part of your brain, well, your left part, and I'm, I'm on my left part of my brain here. Okay. There's your left part, there's your right, there's your mid part, and there's your right part. Okay. So your right part, is where you regulate the mind. I'm looking at my notes here. You regulate the mind, okay, of unconditional love. Now, what is unconditional love? The spirit of unconditional love. Unconditional love is also God. Okay. So, you have the, on the right side, it regulates thoughts. 
the thinking, the patterns of thinking, okay? And that's why it was initially thought of as an attention deficit disorder because the attention is not there, the working memory. Uh, ADHD folks has a hard time with attention. They have a hard time with working memory, which is all back in here. Okay, the memories. All right. Um, and they have, and so they also have a hard time with the middle because they can't get up here. And the middle, if the right regulates the thoughts in the mind, we'll call the mind, and the middle regulates the emotions, then there's a dysregulation of emotion going on. And then the left, okay, regulates one's soul, the soul on the left, okay. So this is the mind of God, the um, heart of God, and the soul of God. And you travel through like this, right? And you'll see, and if you go into uh, human anatomy, you'll see there's two pathways. You enter up through the middle, and the pathway, there's a pathway that goes back. This is the old path, and there's a pathway that goes forward and across. That's a new path. Okay, so, so you're, and, and, and how does it do this? Okay, when you're on the path, of actual, of life, all right, versus the world, but through life, okay, you understand the spirit of unconditional love, God. You understand God from one's mind, understanding. That's the mind. Okay. You accept the spirit of unconditional love or unconditional love. You accept unconditional love, God, through one's heart, the mid, midbrain, okay? And then when you travel and you get to here, all right, which is also called on soul, Jesus, I think in the Bible, he called it the room, one's room. You can also think of it as strength. All right. Um, mind, heart, strength, or, or your true confidence and strength in everything are in. Okay. So if you understand, it's through the understanding of uh okay of the of God's mind through the acceptance of God's heart and through the sharing of God's soul. Okay, the sharing, and this the soul here is where you you become. Your genuine genuineness. This is all your genuineness, but this is your absolute genuineness, your true identity, your absolute genuineness. Okay, so and so this is from the mind of God. This is from the heart of God. This is from the soul of God. Understanding the mind, accepting the heart and sharing the soul. Okay. 
But the problem with folks with ADHD is they physically, the way the neurobiology is, okay, in the uh, in their in their brain, they can't get to here. Very very difficult to get to here, especially in severe ADHD. Okay, and a lot of people today. Because while I was growing up, I'm 57 now, um, ADHD was relatively researched um, much more heavily. ADHD goes back, geez, all the way. They understood ADHD thousand thousand years ago or more. They actually did. They didn't call it ADHD. But... Um, ADHD, um, when I was growing up, it was a relatively new term, I think, for most people. It didn't really come out into the public um, limelight until really, I would say, maybe late 70s, early 80s, something like that. Okay. But there's been such extensive research on it. Okay, and what they found was it's an executive function disorder, not because this is disordered, but because the connection, the wiring, doesn't get to here. And that's why you have a lot of, um, you can't organize well, okay? which this takes care of your right brain, organization, um, analyzing, working memory, and so forth, okay? You can't regulate your emotions very well, okay? Because remember, you're, you're using your back here, your in your mind back here to do it, but this doesn't work back here. That's why the world doesn't work. And here, okay, is where you, you is where you regulate your emotions. So with ADHD, folks, there's a great deal of drama, highs and lows and so forth. Okay, no fault of theirs. Now there are tools that they can learn how to use. Okay. Um, and that's, uh, very evident in the different types of therapies like dialectical behavioral therapy. It's very good, uh, giving you the tools to do that, but there's a whole bunch of different other therapies too, cognitive behavioral therapy, um, and all that, that works back in here. Okay. Um, but you need something to get you into here. Okay. You could you could call this if you want heaven number one, heaven number two, heaven number three, the first, second, third heaven. But you need something to get here. And what do you need? You need a guide. You need a guide. And a lot of people call that the presence. I call it spirit. Some people call it the presence. But you need a guide. You can't get into here without that guide. Without that person taking you from here across the river to here. And that thing that goes across here through life, you, you, that's called the river of life in the Bible. The river of life. Um, and you got to go down the river to get more spiritually mature. Okay, so that's the problem with ADHD, folks. No fault of theirs. It's actually, actually physically um, very, very difficult in severe cases, uh, nearly impossible to get uh, to here. Okay, um... Uh, 
and to get and to uh, go across. Okay, so it's a dysfunction. It's it's not a dysfunction. It's a um, disorder. Okay, it's but it's just it's but when you, you, but when you understand your disorder, you accept it as not as just who you are, what you have, your body. Okay, and um, and you share it with others. Um, that's the important. That's the important part. Okay, those are the important parts. All right, so that's what ADHD is. Okay. Um, and realize this. Um, a lot of times with ADHD, you have other disorders that go along with it. Um, you have e an eating disorder, for instance. And it's been very known that that um, it's hard to feel loved with ADHD. And why is that? Well, first of all, um, people who don't under people who are ignorant. These are the this is the world. Uh, people who are ignorant and arrogant discount people with ADHD as whatever you want to call it, dumb, whatever, uh, whatever. But they automatically devalue, which I call seeing inside nobody, the the actual sin. Um, they devalue uh, right away of the children growing up with ADHD. Make fun of them and everything, and where your identity from your soul is, comes from here in your left uh, part of your brain, right? Your left prefrontal cortex. Um, people make it nearly impossible. People in the world they make it uh, nearly impossible for an ADHD person to even make it even close uh, because they devalue them. They put them down so much that the ADHD person just feels like an absolute failure. They don't love themselves. Loving yourself, again, is up in here. Um, no. And... Uh, um, and they're behind the they're so far behind the Powerball, um, your true Powerball, um, so far behind it that uh, you don't even give them a chance. You don't even give them a chance. And I know this because I've had relationships with people with ADHD. Um, um, friend friendships and intimate relationships with people with ADHD for a long time. And, um, and I decided I'm going to learn all of, uh, as much because that's what an unconditionally loving person will do. When you start life, your life path, you start uh, with what? Understanding the people you love. Accepting the people you love. Sharing. Um, the people, sharing yourself with the people you love intimately. Your, your, your genuine self. And the people who live in the world won't do that. So that's why the people who live in the world back here, which is the vast majority of people, don't even want to understand. They don't even want to go there. They don't want to understand not only other people, but they don't want to understand themselves. And those who don't want to understand wind up being either very arrogant or very... Um, and then... Uh, aggressive and then um, or very uh, down on themselves passive 
Okay. Um, and that's what they, they are. And that's, they don't, they're not balanced people. And, uh, and that's what you have. That's what, that's what you have in the world today. That's what you see in the vastness in the world today. People who don't want to understand themselves or others. And obviously, if you're not going to understand, then you can't accept yourself and others. And then you're not going to share your true self down deep with yourself or others. So, I just want to let you know, so that's ADHD. And if you want to know more, um, you can go to... There's, there's many YouTube videos and books, um, but the I think the most the the, the true expert the, the absolute expert in ADHD is a person by the name of Russell Barkley B A R K L E Y Barkley, and there's a lot of YouTube videos that he has. Uh, most of them are presenting to uh, to an audience of other psychologists and so forth he's what's called a neuropsychologist and he was a prof and, and a uh, a professor um, and like I said the expert in ADHD Russell Barkley so you look him up because if you want to what are you ready to get out of the world and understand your ADHD, then go to there. So you can fully understand, learn, understand, learn. Okay. Be open-minded, open-minded, closed-minded, open-minded. Start becoming open-minded and learn. Okay, and that's another thing about ADHD folks. They have to learn how to learn. It's very hard for them to learn because um, they're always thinking, being distracted, uh, and so forth. Because they don't, they're not being, they, their mind isn't, thoughts aren't regulated by the right brain. In the free frontal, the, uh, in the free right prefrontal cortex. Okay, so um, ADHD. Um, do not devalue people simply because, and never devalue people. But. Um, but especially um, because it's no fault of their own. Don't reprimand people because it's no uh, growing up because it's no fault of their own that they have ADHD. Get them diagnosed. See see if they do have ADHD. Understand ADHD through Russell Barkley and. Um, Stop people with ailments and so forth. Stop it. Stop it. Because stop devaluing people because you're just ignorant. When you do it, you're ignorant. Is it totally your fault? I've said this in other videos. No, because your parents... You, you learn that from your parents, your parents learn that from their parents, and so forth and so on, and it goes so far back that that's just the way of doing things these days, right? The world is going to be the world. And if you're very passive and you're um, arrogant, and what's, what's even further than arrogant, narcissistic, um, the further out of bounds you go, the harder it is for you to get on the path that is life and become a balanced person. So enough people who are up here 
give other people life. The people back here give other people hell. People up here give other people heaven, their heaven. People back here give other people their hell. It's really as simple as that. Of course, neurobiology and neuropsychology uh, is not that simple, obviously. But I'm just summarizing here. Okay. That's it. And uh, I do love you. And you have a you have a great day.